Hey ho, this is Septi, and Prison Mate Luke was a gameplay commentary channel who was considered to be one of the luckiest content creators within the CC, who wasted their potential and have fallen from grace. He started out as a nobody, who just made a bunch of gaming videos that barely anyone cared about. It wasn't until he made the channel announcement that he would start making more edited content, which was soon followed by his first video talking about Yandere Dev and why he is a bad game developer. Due to the man being a very trending topic at the time, the video somehow managed to gain over 1.7 million views in current time, followed by a second video, which is simultaneously one of his most viewed videos on his channel to this day. He soon became popular after that, his channel was growing so rapidly, he raised over 100,000 subs in a matter of months. While most people who put way more effort into their content don't even make it halfway there in the CC. I actually really liked his content. To me, the lethargic tone of his voice and simple style was easy to listen to while doing other things, like art and gaming. But like most good things, it soon began to decline. Aside from petty and generic criticism he was receiving, like people not liking his uninterested voice tone or the lackluster editing in his videos. A major problem that started to arise is his lack of research in his videos and failing to provide appropriate evidence in his videos when talking about serious allegations. Just two weeks ago, Harley TBS made a video summarizing his major mistakes that very much explains why he was destined to fail with this line of behavior. I will be leaving a link to that in the description below. During Luke's prime, these videos had enough impact to cancel creators purely off of his word. Now though, Luke's channel has been left to rot, a graveyard acting only as a grim reminder of his past peak. It appeared that over time, every video Luke made was subsequently worse than the last, eventually spreading more misinformation than he could ever be excused for, with his community slowly cannibalizing itself as Luke's once respected persona shattered, and the wider community grew to see him as someone who was unwilling to take criticism and viewed him as someone that was simply not worth people's time. Now, about his controversies and falling outs. Harley and Luke were friends at the time, and during the peak of the Lexet and Hopeless Beaches situation, Harley heavily criticized Luke for his lack of research and careless spread of misinformation. In response to Harley's intervention, Luke made a video calling them the scummiest cloud chaser on YouTube and would proceed to slander them to save his own image. Harley was a very small channel at the time, with no platform to defend themselves, just a robot came in defense of Harley and called out Luke for lying about someone he was friends with. Luke did apologize for his actions, but it wasn't long before he would start causing trouble again. During the end of the Tabi drama that briefly featured him, he chose to go after Jar in a video titled Just a Robot is Just Racist. In it, he made numerous false claims about his content and him as a person. He's made false statements like Jar defending the Confederate flag, claim Jar is using his stills as blackface versions of himself to caricaturize and offend black people, and that his way to deflect the racism allegations is using the No You argument. You can just look into Jar and his channels and you find a clear pattern of racism that's continued all the way until today. And the funniest part to me is that it's really easy to find it all. In fact, it started off like this. One of his first videos was on the Confederate flag, where the video just boils down to the flag isn't racist because there were black slave owners, and that just because a few racists use the flag, it doesn't make it racist. Comparing it to the swastika because it was used before or Hitler, when the main point of those symbols and how they represent stuff is, a lot of racists use it as their symbols. Which also, the whole him using a minority group, doing something bad to justify his shit, is a pattern you see throughout his channel all the way until now. The year after, he made a video where he responded to a BuzzFeed video about Native Americans, where he again not only used other groups of people doing horrible stuff to justify not caring, also, before you say I'm dragging this 
up for no reason. He uses the same logic today. He got angry at Kai and Omnia because they talked about how he shouldn't talk about racially charged issues. And especially what he said, as a white person, you can say anything like any race. And anytime someone calls him a racist for that, he calls them the actual racist and he's not. He did it here. He did it to Kai. And there are other examples too. Along with that, he has multiple videos of just having blackface versions of himself. And he can't say it's another character because one, one of them he literally says is just him blackface. But also it's something that he's kept a tradition of, of using blackface characters. And of course, being one of the only people who defended hopeless speeches at the time, he was given the usual simp treatment rather than someone who genuinely believed she was severely wronged, to which she was, by the way. Out of all people Prism with Luke has damaged, Peach has suffered the most. Alongside people like Omnia, Kaiwise, and Creepshort, Luke would proceed to smear Peach's reputation by making claims that she emotionally manipulates her audience to get away from criticism and consequences for completely normal human mistakes. His content remained at this subpar standard, leading us to his series on Hopeless Peaches that started in December of 2020, where Luke would make a plethora of unfounded claims against Peaches, which was the first time I, as someone who was friends with Luke at the time, had questioned Luke's motives and actions. This is where I believe the inevitable fall of Prismate Luke began. The worst offender was when Peach became very suicidal after all the hate she was getting, and allegedly attempted to take her own life a few times due to depression. With her not being able to go through with it, Luke would proceed to make one of his most controversial and malicious false statements of them all. Well, you say, are you going to be taking a break from the drama and comments and all that? Which is fine. If you need a break, you need one. I'm not saying you don't have mental health problems. But you would constantly come back to post more things and beg for sympathy. And when you were getting genuine criticism for all the garbage you've done, you decided to suicide bait your audience. Going off the grid for hours to make your audience worry that you hurt or killed yourself. And guess what? Two days later, you were back to making tweets again. And she's been doing this for a long time. It's very manipulative. And she's always using her mental health as a pity me card. Which is funny since she called out Toby for doing the same thing. It's very scummy. And it says a lot about her as a person. Like how little do you have to care about your audience to do that to them? And when you don't want to deal with the criticism, you say your mental health is acting up again and how you're going to get away from social media. But when it goes away, you come right back to it. It's scummy and your audience deserves better. This was without a doubt the most evil and dangerous false accusation made by Luke. The evidence he provided was nothing more than a clearly depressed individual having episodic breakdowns and showing mental health issues, all of which she has provided evidence for that she has them. But Luke always chose to never acknowledge them and called Peaches a liar for wanting to defend herself. And despite his promises to publicly apologize after he was proven wrong, he never did. On top of that, he made fun of her failed attempts behind her back alongside with Kai Weiss and Creep Schwartz and accused her of insinuating that he wishes her to go through with her attempt at taking her life. It really nailed down how malicious he can be when he doesn't want to believe someone. Afterwards, word has been widely spread about his terrible lackluster research, bad takes and behaviors by both Jar, Harley and Just Stop. Luke knew he had no leg to stand on anymore, so for the longest time he chose to ignore it. He continued making videos like nothing ever happened, Repeated the same mistakes as before with cases like the pyrocynical drama where he would just follow the at the time popular opinion, add nothing to the situation, and just proceed to make a bigger mess by not putting any effort into his delivery on the matter. His luck has finally ran out. He uploaded his last commentary on May 28, 2021, and then disappeared without a trace. No one really knew where he went or what he was doing. Some of his associates claim he was dealing with personal problems and didn't want to come back to YouTube. Over a year has passed and finally, just recently, on June 13, this year, he's released possibly his last ever video, titled Final Update. Let us hear it. I've been putting this off for a long time now, and to be honest, I haven't even looked at my channel since I last uploaded. I just wanted to try and get away from this all and run away from all of it. But it wasn't fair to just leave like that out of the blue and never explain anything. I handled my exit really poorly, and I left a lot unsaid and didn't resolve much of anything, and for that I'm sorry. I handled a lot of drama, especially towards the end of me being on YouTube awfully. 
and I never apologized publicly or even talked about it at all. I tried handling things privately and sweeping it under the rug, but it wasn't the right thing to do, and it didn't do much of anything anyway. I got really angry at people, to be honest. Way too angry at people, unjustifiably angry. And I let that get in the way of doing the right thing or even being smart about it. Now, I understand emotions get in our way. It is very easy to snap judgment based on impulses instead of thinking correctly and rationally. I am glad Luke can admit to this, although I can tell this is a very forced, unscripted video, which is very apparent from the brief mentions of the following. I fucked up, and that's not the only thing, I fucked up a lot, especially when it came to information about other creators like Just the Robot or Just Stop, I just got things wrong and never really talked about it. And so many other examples or situations, it's just, I didn't handle myself right and I never apologized for when I didn't. And I just refused to do the smart thing, and I eventually just stopped looking at everything. My socials, my channel, even other drama videos, because I just, I couldn't handle it. That said, this isn't a sympathy upload. I fucked up a lot, and it wasn't fair to just drop it all like it was nothing. Me reacting to other people poorly is on me, and I shouldn't have just run away like that. The real issue is, he doesn't really elaborate on what he actually did other than saying he screwed up. To which, I don't actually think he tries to conceal it, but rather, similarly to his incompetent nature when he was a content creator, he just assumes most people are already familiar with the things he has done. So instead of reigniting the drama, he just briefly wants to mention the people he wronged instead. It is up to your interpretation whether or not that's disingenuous or not, I personally want to believe he actually is being apologetic here. And I never tried to fix my mistakes or even really explain it at all. I just wanted to get away from it all. And this isn't me apologizing so I can come back without backlash or try to get back into drama because that's not what I want to do. I don't plan on coming back to this channel. This will probably be the final video on the channel, hopefully. And I especially don't plan on talking about drama ever again. I handled stuff poorly, and I didn't enjoy it anyway, especially towards the end of me doing this. If I ever did anything on YouTube again, it would be with other people, and even that would be really iffy. It's good to hear that he can finally admit his lack of trying to improve himself during the drama, but I would recommend him to not come back in any shape or form really. It is very clear that he's not cut out for this platform, and a lot of people are still rightfully mad at him. So it would be best if he just lived a normal life and not become a public figure again, or associate with one for that matter. Also, just to be clear, I'm going to be privating some of my older videos I don't really agree with anymore or want to leave up. I'm not sure exactly how many I'm going to be taking down, but especially with some of my older drama videos like the Hopeless Peaches ones, I don't really want to leave those up and feed into the drama anymore, especially since it's gone on for so long. I don't even really know what's up with it anymore. Especially since Shannon or Creepshow Art turned out to be a terrible person, I don't really want to leave that up to kind of support her anymore. So if you see videos getting unlisted or privated, that's why. I just wanted to give a warning about that. I believe that is something he should have done a very long time ago. I understand that he left social media and didn't want to make any public statements, but at the very least he should have deleted or privated those videos a long time ago, as they have left permanent damage to their career, and even ended them for some time. I also take issue with the fact he doesn't address anything about the hopeless Peaches situation, he did in a pinned comment after Peaches felt insulted by his negligence, but we'll get back to that later. I shouldn't have taken this long to make a video like this. I've been putting it off for over a year, justifying it by saying that I'm busy with life and being 21 and other shit that isn't really relevant. It was just me trying to excuse the fact that I didn't want to make a short video about this all, and it wasn't fair. It wasn't fair, it was childish. It wasn't fair to other creators, and it wasn't fair to my audience who never got an explanation. Especially when I just tried to disappear. and. Yeah, that's all I really had to say. I'm sorry for how I handled myself, and how I handled going away. Again, I don't want sympathy. I'm not gonna try to use this as, oh, I'm coming back, because I don't want to. I just wanted to put this out there so I wasn't just silent about it. 
and to admit that, hey, I fucked up. So this is on me. The only reason this has dragged on for as long as it has is because of me. So I just wanted to put that out there that I am sorry. I genuinely am. The only reason this took so long is because I was being childish about it. So sorry. That said, have a safe one. And there is the final note to end on. I've left a comment with my overall thoughts, which reads as follows. As a former audience member of yours, I was highly disappointed when these ultimate mistakes occurred on your part. How badly you've handled these dramas, the damage you've caused, it really saddened me. So I'm glad to see a mere glimpse of the person I used to watch again. It is not my place to say whether or not you deserve forgiveness, especially since it wasn't your audience you have wronged first and foremost. But I hope you will have a good life and you will move on from this. It's better for everyone that way. Goodbye, Luke. On that note, the people his directive wrong have also reacted to this video. Harley TBS. It takes a lot of guts to acknowledge when you've made mistakes. I think this is a great decision, and I really appreciate that you're finally making the move to remove videos you made within and let some of the controversy you've been in conclude. I know we had our rocky past, but I wish nothing but the best for you in the future, and I hope everything is going well for you outside of the channel now. Stay safe. Just a robot. I don't think my apologies were that good, but it was better than this. But something is better than nothing. It's more than Creepshow has ever done. I can give you that much. I'm mostly leaving a comment so people can stop sending me this. I think it would have been best if you talked with people like me, Harley, Justa, and most of all Hopeless before making this. I understand you got too big, too fast, so you didn't know the power you had. I just don't get you. You were acting like people who had small disagreements with you in private or in public were attacking you all the time. I, along with others, almost lost everything because of you, and some did. You didn't even come close to going over all your wrongs. If the shoe was on the other foot and this was my apology, you would say, Jor, this is just you trying to come back. You don't care about anyone other than yourself, and this also proves you are a racist because the background was black. You've had a few more chances than most to turn things around and make a living on YouTube. So that is why I don't forgive you, but thanks anyway. I share the same sentiment with Jar here. I definitely think Luke should have made amends with everyone in private before saying anything publicly. It really shows he still hasn't come over his inner cowardice and shame after all the terrible things he's done, which made his apology lackluster as an end result. And now, most importantly, hopeless speeches. You called my suicide attempt fake, you ruined my channel and smeared me because, essentially, there wasn't enough proof I wanted to end it all. You've made jokes about my attempts in private, Kylie, the DMs, you messed with my head for months, and still have had a damaging impact on my channel, and after lying about saying you would apologize to me, you didn't. You leaked a script about me telling me I'm a sympathy baiter. Then you disappear and come back to what? Say sorry to Harley, Jar and Braxton? Good, glad you did. But for me, no apology for everything you've done. I was genuinely happy at the start of this video, thinking you thought about everything you've done, but no, you didn't. This is more of an insult than anything else. Don't try again, this video is proof enough you haven't changed. After seeing that, Luke has made a pinned comment to address the things he shouldn't have forgotten to mention. Hey, I noticed that I really missed the mark on addressing my involvement in the hopeless speeches situation and would like to make sure that I address it properly even if it's just a pinned comment. I screwed up majorly in how I handled that situation. I take full responsibility for my part in how long and drawn out it was. I'm sorry for my comments relating to your mental health and for making those videos without thinking things out for nearly as long as I should have. I know this doesn't mean much, but I hope in the meantime you can heal from the damage my videos caused you. I should have explained that better in the video and gone over it more. I've been really harebrained and I fell asleep shortly after posting the video, so I'm sorry for not making it clear and not explaining things better or going into more detail on it. And now, final thoughts. Overall, I think this apology shows that despite all the horrible things Luke has done, unlike most awful individuals who build their career by kicking people when they were down, 
he didn't try to justify any of his actions and appeared as genuinely apologetic, although the final execution was very anticlimactic and I can understand people who are mad at him for that. But it's still more than we should expect from someone who's always been incompetent when it comes to these type of situations. Personally, I am glad he made this video. Even though I would have wanted more, it's still a better note to end on than having nothing at all. I hope he will fix his life and move on to do better things. The damage he's caused may heal over time and hopefully everything will go back to normal eventually. The reception of his video is very mixed. A lot of people say they forgive him, a lot of people are still mad at him, some people miss him, others want him gone. As for the people who try to say he's not actually sorry for anything he's caused and that he's just seeking sympathy in disguise, it's really not your place to say that. In my subjective opinion, when it comes to answering what should happen to prison mate Luke after this, does he deserve to be forgiven? Does he deserve to be forever hated for the things he's done? Personally, I think Luke deserves to be forgotten. From a well respected commentator to a lost bad memory, this prisoner may finally experience the freedom in the form of oblivion. He can no longer harm anyone and no one can harm him. He should maintain this distance and don't come back again for the sake of everyone he's ever wronged. But of course, that is just my opinion, so I would like to hear what you think in a comment section below. As always, I shall continue to make more videos whenever I get the chance, but until then, I'm Septi, and goodbye.